Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another tip video for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over passing. These are essential passing tips that everybody should be doing and using on pretty much every play that you're passing the ball. So, whether you're a beginner or you consider yourself more of an expert at Madden, hopefully, you'll learn something through the course of this video. I'm going to be using some gameplay footage to show you guys uh, how I use them personally. Before I start the video, though, if you guys could do me a little favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button. It really helps this channel out if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section all those things really help my channel out and other than that let's go and let's get right into the video so the first tip that we're going to go over is pre-snap audibles this is something that i still get questions about if you want to do an audible a specific receiver to an audible route you just have to hit y triangle then it'll bring up the receivers you choose which receiver you want and then it'll also bring up your hot routes your hot routes are going to be basically the function you have to select to make that receiver do that specific route so in a simple cover two beater like we have here um, i just want to basically get this a route open sure enough just putting that receiver on the flat is going to get the trick done so pretty much every play you're going to have to do something like this especially if you purchase an ebook of mine or something of that nature all my videos they're all doing setups like this where you basically have to audible routes now here's just a simple man beating concept i noticed we have a man i put this receiver in a zig zigs beat man come back come back speed man it's really that simple so you're gonna have to do that pretty much every play Next up, we have pass protection. Now, if you wanted to block a tight end or running back, it would be the same way as you would put a receiver on a different route. You would just basically hit the right trigger, the R2 button, to actually block that individual player, uh, which is really simple. But you can also do things like max protect, slide protection, things like that. Um, if you slide protection, you can see right here, I mean, basically that edge uh, really gets sealed to the point where you can roll out if you're trying to hit a one-play touchdown like I was trying to do in that particular play. But you also have the ability to double-team an individual player. So if you have a superstar, player that's really wreaking havoc in the backfield you basically just have to hit down on the right stick then you got to pick uh, which one of these players is giving you the most problems so they'll get blocked by two different players next up we have the different types of passes augmented passes really make a lot of openings that weren't necessarily there before uh, lobbing is one of the the most consistent passes that will beat man coverage so if you notice you have a man coverage like i notice i have here uh, or a four quarters which is what this turns out to be i already know that if, even with a slow receiver like george kittle who's a tight end uh, i can beat just about any cornerback just by lobbing it you can see right here if i would have bullet passed this it would have either been intercepted or knocked down to say the least but since i lob passed it that's really the way that you're going to beat man in this year i mean a lot of times people make the mistake where they bullet pass against man coverage is like right here he has space to the outside but since he bullet pass and didn't lob pass you can see how easy that ball uh, the trajectory changes it's an easy interception even when you have a lot of space i see a lot of people online just basically they're just robo bullet passing just about every other play there there was a lot of space but if he would have if we would have lobbed it he probably would have had a catch instead he has a pick six so that's really important this year when it comes to man coverage when it comes to zone coverage is typically when you're bullet bullet passing because it's a little bit different so here we go back to the same cover two play that i showed earlier ultimately like i said i'm just waiting there's going to be more space when it comes to zone if i bullet pass this ball outside you can see right there i mean there's nothing but space and we create a really easy one play touchdown against cover too so that's something that's really important there's also high and low passing when it comes to high passing or low passing low passing is really good against man coverage once again uh right here i mean you can see this this coverage is so tight that this receiver you can't even see the cornerback so if you you low pass and you use your body to shield the defender you're going to get a lot of catches against uh against man coverage especially when it comes to like comeback routes uh things like that are really going to secure those passes high passes against man are going to get picked off because man coverage is a lot tighter high passes are really going to be more effective against zone coverages uh which in general aren't really that well um you know they just don't cover that well this year anyway but ultimately high passes are not as overpowered as they were in years past Next up, we got pass leading. Now, this is, we're going right back to that same cover two play that I already showed. A solid pass lead is what makes this receiver get open. Right here, this is not going to get open. If I just throw a straight pass, that safety is going to make a play on it. But if I bullet and pass lead outside, you can see the difference of how the receiver changes his angle. Pass leading is really simple. All you have to do is you're, while you're hitting the B button or whatever receiver you're throwing at, you're going to hit the left uh, analog stick at the same time. So here we have a cover three play. I'll know that once i motion out this running back it's going to shift the safety so it's a really obvious cover three play 
the RB route has a really good chance of being a really big play against a defense like this because the safety is so spread uh, far apart now. So basically, all I have to do is once I see that I have some space here, I'm going to use that same pass lead function. So here, I got to hit the RB button and the left analog stick at the same time to the left so that I basically get the throw away from the safety. And you can see how much of a trajectory change we get and we get a really big play. So that's really simple. Then we also have the, the importance of the catch type, which which is either a safe catch or a rack catch. Um, they're, they're probably the most important out of all the catching functions. If you want to guarantee that you don't get hit and lose the ball, the safe catch is one of the most important ones. Right there was a third and nine. I wanted to make sure I got that first down, so I'm going to hit that safe catch. It's also really important when you're in a crowd. Right there, I mean, I just want to make sure that I, that I didn't get hit from an oncoming defender, but when you have a really big crowd that you're going to see here, that safe catch dropping down, protecting the ball, that's going to be huge. You can see that was so close. The defenders were tripping over him once he caught the ball. It's also important when it comes to end zones. Here, you can see like I said, if I didn't safe catch there, probably wouldn't have caught it, probably would have got hit, probably would have dropped the ball. And it's also really important on the sideline. With those, those toe-tapping catch animations, you've got to hit those sideline safe catches so you can make sure you, you catch it in bounds. Rack catches are also really important when it comes to one play touchdowns. A lot of times you have to, to, to hit a rack catch to make a one play touchdown happen, even close to the sideline like that. But ultimately, you can also hit a rack catch to turn a short play into a big play. Basically, a rack catch means that they won't slow down and come back to the ball, and then you can basically get more out of pretty much every play. There also is an aggressive catch function, uh, but I find that's more of a prayer. That's not something you want to do consistently because more times than not, you're not going to come down with the ball. It's not as overpowered as it was in years past, but you can hit wide triangle and do that ultimately the last thing is going to be improv and that's basically going to be things like playmaking. like right here the receiver turning the receiver up the field all you got to do is control the closest receiver by hitting the right stick in whatever direction you want him to run so right here you can see he's at the sideline uh, basically you turn him up with a with a nice playmaker you can make some really big plays especially against man coverage a lot of times turning a guy up against man coverage is going to be an easy way to beat a man coverage if you lob the pass after that point uh, here's another play third and seven I mean I have to basically I have two receivers right next to each other the user defender comes down and at that point I basically turn the, the receiver up hit that safe catch one more time and you can see how you can be very consistent with that the last option is to throw the ball away now this is something that you only want to do um, you know if there's you don't want to throw an interception you don't want to make a stupid play you're just basically gonna you know you have to be outside the tackle box you can't do it inside the tackle box because if you're inside the uh, between the two tackles you'll get a penalty but if you're outside the tackle box uh, you'll typically get a very easy uh, throwaway animation just by hitting the right click button and throwing the ball away uh, and then living to fight another down so that's it that's the vid i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see more videos like this i want to do a video about running the ball just like this um, let me know in the comments section hit the like button other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below